if you want to tighten up the split between the shots and try to speed up the control pair, the only thing that you need to do, stay focused on your trigger manipulation. All the rest supposed to be passive and consistent. Literally, I'll pull that trigger as fast as I can. So, how much pressure to apply with each hand? The second principle of the grip is to maximize friction over the gun. Now, there are four ways that can create friction. First method is just pressure. Imagine, I have a cup of coffee, it's very important. Coffee, it's life. So if I have my cup of coffee and I want to pick that cup of coffee, I will position my fingers. What I need to do to lift that cup, I need to apply pressure. Pressure means friction. Of course, more pressure, more friction. So, how much pressure to apply with each hand? Actually, you ready for the absolute truth there? Now, the actual answer is, well, depends. Depends or what? Let's see right now. Again, because we like experiments in Tactical Performance Center. Why? Because we call our doctrine reactive shooting science. So science works through experiments to prove if our hypothesis is truth. Marius, you ready for that experiment? Sure. Now what I want you to do, take your shooting stance okay. and simulate your grip with both hands. Now keep your trigger finger extended. Now I want you to apply as much pressure as you can until you see your hand start to shake. Okay. Give everything, 110%. Now, I want you very gradually to start relaxing that grip until that shake is gone. At the moment that you see your hand steady, stop. Do not relax more than that. Now pay attention how much pressure you apply with your shooting hand and how much pressure you're applying with. It's not support hand. We do not call that support hand. We call that control hand. Why? You understand in a second. Now. Try to move your trigger finger without relaxing or changing that pressure. It's kind of hard, right? Mm -hmm. Now, gradually start to relax only the shooting hand okay. until you achieve very easy and fast trigger finger manipulation. And at the moment that you achieve that, do not relax the shooting hand more than that. Mm -hmm. Now, close your eyes okay. and remember how much pressure you apply with your control not support hand and how much pressure you apply with your shooting hand. Mm -hmm. So what's your input here? Uh, so definitely the firing hand is going to be less. There's going to be less pressure, but it's so that I can articulate the trigger finger. The support hand control or the control hand, hand. control hand is definitely more. It's crushing down more, but only to the point where there's no shake. So um, getting the point across where it's not going to disturb the sights. And again, the pressure on the firing hand, as firm as possible, but I need to be able to articulate that trigger. Yeah, first of all, why we call the support hand, control hand, you just said that basically you're applying more pressure and that more pressure will create more friction on the gun. Can you say that that's a... Yeah. Uh, a support hand? No, actually, actually that's control. a control hand. You're developing, you're calling it all the time support hand, you're developing a bad, bad analogy in your subconscious mind and it really starts to be a support hand with, that we want to avoid at any point. So how much pressure? Now that's very individual. Mm -hmm. For you, you're applying more pressure with your control hand, right? That uh, shooting hand. Now that can vary and if you want to put some numbers there for you guys to uh, actually have more, more data, it can vary from 50-50% up to more or less 70-30% Always remember, always in the favor of your control hand, the non-shooting hand. At the moment that you start holding the gun more with your shooting hand, you stop shooting with both hands. It's not a two-hand grip. 
it starts to be a one hand grip with support. That's not our desire here. We want to actually form perfect two handed grip, right? So you guys notice the difference and why we call that a uh, control hand. Now, that variation, that variable of the pressure depends on what? We said that it's very individual, right? From 50-50 up to 70-30 in the favor of that control hand. Well, it depends only on one and only one thing. The dexterity of your trigger finger, the ability to move and relax the muscle groups of the trigger finger absolutely separate from the rest of the muscle groups of your palm. And don't forget to check the one of the other videos that we explain actually how to develop that dexterity in your trigger finger. That actually will define uh, the proper pressure. Now let's, let's have to a conclusion here. What do you think is the main mission of, we emphasize guys, the control hand. We are applying as much what? Pressure. As we can without shaking, mm -hmm. because the shaking it's a, clear indication that you're over gripping the gun so you you grip the gun as tight as you can with your control hand without shaking without over gripping right that pressure will create more friction on the gun that's one of the principles of the grip that we preach in tpc that's the only mission of the, our control hand what's the primary mission of our shooting hand break the shot to manipulate the trigger precisely Right? What is the secondary mission of your shooting hand? What uh, do you think? I would say to also help in terms of uh, maddling muzzle rise. What was the primary mission of uh, your control hand? We said we are applying what? Pressure yep. as much as you can. Mm -hmm. The secondary mission of your shooting hand is to apply pressure as much as you can without compromising the primary mission of the shooting hand, which is? Squeeze that trigger. Squeeze that trigger. Mm -hmm. The better dexterity you have you with your trigger finger, the more pressure you will be able to apply also with your shooting hand, and the better control you'll have over the gun with the two-handed grip. All right, guys. Now uh, we'll actually apply that in live fire, just changing a little bit the pressure from 50-50% up to 70-30, and let's see what you will feel like a difference in the behavior of the gun. Okay. You ready to do that? Sure. Let's do it. So you said that you're using more or less like 73-ish yeah. percent yeah, in I favor usually, of your control hand? I usually have more pressure on my control hand. All right, so a fire of string of five shots on that popper that it's okay. about, what, 15 yards away, okay. uh, using your pressure that you're applying, okay. right? So far. Go ahead, both make ready. And just observe uh, what the sights will tell you. All right, now start uh, increasing a little bit the pressure with your shooting hand. But again, it's very important not to, the pressure of the shooting hand not to exceed the, sh the pressure of your control hand. So make it uh, more even, like 50-50%. Okay. And uh, tell me what the sights will tell you. So did you notice any difference there? In that particular instance, for me, there was, uh, it was more controllable, honestly, with the 50-50. All right. Yeah. 50 mm -hmm. 50. So uh, it's more desirable mm -hmm. to be more or less even 50 50 percent. But that means that you need to work to improve the dexterity of the trigger finger mm -hmm. because that definitely will contribute to more friction. And more friction, guys, means more control. So let's try it one more time. Okay. Again, close to 50 50. Okay. Uh, focus on that side and tell me if they're returning faster. All right, safe and reholster. So if that feels better, that means that you, we have a go right now. You need to improve a little bit more dexterity and you can adapt that concept closer to 50-50%. But again, it's very individual, guys. Just play with uh, that variables. But again, remember, never apply more pressure with your shooting hand because you're starting to shoot the gun with one hand with a support. That's not our desire. Right. The pressure is easy to establish as a starting point, but then kind of tweak it. As you saw when I was doing live fire, I generally shoot with more 
uh, pressure with my control hand, but I haven't really explored it a lot ever since you know I got in my comfort zone. So now with just this video, you know, just uh, experimenting and uh, felt a little bit more comfortable 50-50. So it's an individual. Very individual. The most yeah. important thing is to stay focused and to apply the principles that are required to guarantee a good control of the gun. So basically for the grip, <laughs> you need as much pressure as you can because that will create more friction. Now, on the other hand, one of the core principles of uh, trigger control is the ability to move that uh, trigger finger separately from the rest of the uh, fingers and the uh, rest of the muscle groups of the palm. So find the combination that actually will help you to check these two requirements in most optimal way. So think more, not so much about techniques, but think in a sense of principles, then you can modify, create your own techniques, or you can even find something and discover something that uh, nobody discovered so far. Principles do not lie. If you like the video, visit the online training page on our website, or check the calendar section to sign up for our in-person courses. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.